I remember coming home from school one day and my beautiful mom said, you're going to basketball practice. Like, that's why I ain't going to no basketball practice. Basketball is soft. You know what I mean? I play football. I'm a football player. I said, where you going? And I you remember my, I, I cried and I screamed and kicked and clawed and I had to be dragged to practice. I got to practice and I saw all the guys that played on my football team there. So from that point, I played basketball. So I have my mom to thank for that. Um, my dad, man, this is why, this is what you created, daddy. This is what you made. And I'm uh, so proud of you for uh, being that person that I looked up to and um, being a dad to take care of his kids, showing me the way, showing me about taking care of family. And um, when you pass that torch to me, uh, I was gracious to take it and run with it. And I appreciate you and I love you, man. When I was five or six years old, I remember watching TV and I would see these commercials and I was watching other children suffer in other parts of the world. And you know, the commercials were that, you know, you could give 25 cents and save a child's life, and, you know. And I would think to myself, like, I wonder how many 25 cents I could save up to save all the kids in Africa. And I would say to myself, you know, like, when I grow up and I can get rich, and I'm gonna save kids all over the world, I just didn't know I would be in the position to do that by the time I was a teenager. <laughs> At 17, I started my career here in America. And by the age of 18, I started my first charity organization. I went on to team up with other organizations in the following years and met, helped, and even lost some of the most beautiful souls. From six-year-old Yasmina Amena, who passed away in 2010 from leukemia. Her story inspired thousands to volunteer as donors through GKMS. Fast forward to 2012, when my grandmother, the late Clara Brathlet, she lost her battle with cancer, which is the very reason and the driving force behind the Clara Lionel Foundation. We're all human. We all just want a chance. A chance at life, a chance at an education, a chance at a future, really. And at CLF, our mission is to impact as many lives as possible. But it starts with just one. Just one. As I stare out into this beautiful room, I see optimism, I see hope, I see the future. I know that each and every one of you has the opportunity to help someone else. All you need to do is help one person, expecting nothing in return. To me, that is a humanitarian. <laughs> People make it seem way too hard, man. The truth is, <laughs> and what the little girl watching those commercials didn't know, is that you don't have to be rich to be a humanitarian. You don't have to be rich to help somebody. You don't gotta be famous. You don't even have to be college educated. I mean, I, I, I wish I was, I'm not saying, you know. Especially today. <laughs> it's true, I might come back, but all right. <laughs> but it starts with.
with your neighbor, the person right next to you, the person sitting next to you in class, the kid down the block in your neighborhood. You just do whatever you can to help in any way that you can. And today I want to challenge each of you to make a commitment to help one person, one organization, one situation that touches your heart. My grandmother always used to say, if you got a dollar, there's plenty to share. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It was my honor. <laughs> You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Just because I walk as if I have oil wells pumping in my living room. <laughs> Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my sassiness upset you? <laughs> Don't take it so hard just cause I laugh as if I have gold mines digging in my own backyard. You can shoot me with your words, you can cut me with your lies, you can kill me with your hatefulness, but just like life, I rise. Does my sexiness offend you? Oh. <laughs> Does it come as a surprise that I dance? As if I have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. A black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling and bearing in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, wow, there I go.